Hello, in this video I want to explain how to use the parsing table for LR parsing. I will explain that with this input. Make sure to also watch the video with the other input because the other input will tell you what's the big difference between LL and LR parsing. This is just for knowing the usage. Also make sure to read the video description because updates, mistakes will be written down there. And this input is regarding the example number two, not example number one. That all being said, this is where we left off. We had our parsing table and we had our state machine. I will rearrange that a little bit so we have more space. We don't really need to read the parsing table, so it's fine if it's small. We start with the input. We start with state zero, nothing processed yet. I plus I times I. This is our input, not processed. I hope you watched the other videos. If not, then you will not understand this properly. Let's rush a little bit. As we learned, we end up with the state after, re re after the replacement with the state that there is no state, but we need a state. So we check out state number zero, the state before it, and we check out F, which gives us three. Hope this is clear. If not, watch the other videos. This two here, this one. Make sure to read correctly. Now we are in state number one and we have the input plus, as we always had, state, input, state, input, state, input, state, input. So we shift five. Again, state, input, shift four. State four, input, star, reduce five. Now we're looking at state number five. It's a different way of reading. State number five, check the F, state number three. Let's go on here. Again, we have no new state. We check state number five, the last state that we've been in, and we check the T. We're in state number seven now. And now it's getting a little bit interesting. Check out, we are here in this state. We have a reduce or a shift. If we check out our table now, check this, we are in state seven and we have the input star. We are in state seven and we have the input star. It's clearly a shift, right? Although we also can apply this rule here, rule number two in the graph, rule number two. I told you before, if we check the graph, uh, sorry, if we check the state machine, we cannot decide if we should reduce or shift. This is due to the fact that the information that we had before, that the follow function of E only returns plus and dollar. This information is not yet clear, clearly viewable inside the state machine, but it is already like implemented into this table. How is it implemented? In the way that this star gives us a shift and only plus and dollar gives us the reduction. This is the reason why it's so hard to do this stuff with the state machine. Of course, you can write down the follow functions next to the state machine and then go on with that. But then you still have the problem with the reductions when you, you will see that later, when you have more than one character of reduction. Now, we write the dollar, dollar sign as well. We actually have to write it all the way down, but that's a lot of stuff to write, so I just start to write it if we really need it. Why do we read it, need it now? Because we are in state four and we have the input dollar. If we don't write it, then we have no input. That's a little bit strange. So we just write it down. State four, input dollar, reduction five. Again, state six, we check the F. State number eight is where we're in. Let's also understand that we're currently here in the state number eight. And we will apply the reduction rule because we're in state number eight and we have a dollar sign. Rule number four, and we will reduce these three characters to only one T. And we're finished, I mean, not, not finished, sorry, just with this row, almost, <laughs> even though. Um, from the state machine, where should you go? Here it's clear if you work like this, you are in state number five, you check the T, gives you the seven. So what happened is we went from here to here to here. This is where it's getting a little bit complicated in the state machine to remember where you have to go back. We have, by the way, we came from here, went over here and then went back again. You always have to take care how many symbols you delete and According to that, you have to go back n steps. But let's stick with the table. Now everything is pretty fast, which gives us state number one, and we're finished already. Now we're really finished. That's it, that's the example. And this is some um, very textury. I want to show you what we actually did. We started with the input i. 
we like converted it to an F, you remember? Then we converted it to a T, remember? Sorry, this stuff slowly drifts apart, we need more space. Okay, and then it became an E. After the E, we added in plus. After the plus, we read the new character I. Let's write it down here. We converted that one to an F and this one to a T. Now we're here. Now we read the next character. Let's write it down here. And we read the next I. We are here. Hope you're still with me. We converted that one to an F. Hard to see. And now we converted this to these three things here to a T. And then we used all these three things. Oh, see, this is the end of the E. The E, the plus, and the T suddenly became an E. An E. So what we built up here, what we built up past, was this tree, basically. You remember that this is what you actually want when you have the parsing. And you remember that the LR parsing goes from the bottom to the top. And the LL parsing goes from the top to the bottom. This is where we're going from the bottom to the top. This is what we actually did here with a lot of text stuff, right? And now I can only really advise you watch the other example. If you don't want to watch all the d explanations before the important part, just skip over the next video. I mean, just skip over the boring part in the next video. Um, it will be more clear why it's so much better to use LR parsing, especially for algebraic input like this one is. Okay, that being said, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to watch the